many people grew up hearing of stories of hidden riches, pirates' maps to treasures, and wild adventures. There is always an unspoken desire to find this loot and become filthy rich. Today, we'll show you the most expensive and mysterious treasures people found in their backyards. Here is the list of top 20 treasures found in private mines. Staffordshire Hoard One of the most amazing treasures found in private mines is the largest hoard of Anglo-Saxon gold ever discovered. Terry Herbert, one of the luckiest people on Earth, found this treasure when he ran a metal detecting device over his farm in Staffordshire. 3,500 Cloisani Garnets, 5.094 kilos of gold and 1.442 kilos of silver emerged as a farmer dug for five days. One interesting fact is the 3.285 million pound reward for the findings was split in half between the farmer and the landowner. Do you think this was fair? Talk to us in the comments section. Factory in Gold in 1978, a year before the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan, a Soviet-Afghan team of archaeologists led by Greek-Russian archaeologist Viktor Sarandidi was excavating at Tilite, northern Afghanistan. This means Golden Hill in Persian. Little did the team know how aptly the place was named. At the site were six burial mounds, one containing a man and five containing women who were possibly the man's wives. Out of the mounds came with 20,600 items, including coins, gold, silver, ivory, and precious stones. The items dated to between 100 BC and 100 AD and included necklaces, belts, medallions, and a crown. Give the video a thumbs up and we'll bring you more of the same. Bedford, Virginia one of America's strangest treasure stories involves a series of codes that supposedly tell the specific location of a treasure buried in Bedford, Virginia. In 1819, Thomas Beale and a group of men reportedly brought a large treasure they found in the American West to their home in Virginia, where they buried it. Beale subsequently wrote three ciphers that would reveal the location and contents of the treasure in case something happened to the men when they returned to the West for more treasure the Caesarea Gold Treasure. In 2015, a group of divers discovered a cache of approximately 2,000 gold coins in the seabed near the port of Caesarea, Israel. The divers notified Israeli Antiquities Authority after their initial discovery. They later went down again alongside a diving team of the IAA to recover the whole treasure. However, the discovery was declared property of the state and the divers were not given a finder's fee. The Saddle Ridge Hoard In 2013, a dream of finding gold treasure in the backyard came true for a couple living in California. The couple discovered 1,427 gold coins dating back to 1847 to 1894 while they were walking their dog. They initially stumbled upon one metal can containing gold coins. Subsequent digging and exploration with the help of a metal detector led to the discovery of seven other cans filled with gold coins. This amazing treasure was estimated to be worth $10 million. Hmm, have you walked your dog today? Sirota Treasure on June 8, 1885, workers were demolishing an old building in the Polish town of Sirota, Alaska when they found a vase. In it were over 3,000 silver coins dating back to the 14th century. When demolition work moved to a nearby building, silver coins and gold florin coins were found. Enterprising locals started scouring the municipal landfill where debris from the buildings had been taken. Items found included a gold woman's crown that most likely belonged to the first wife of Emperor Charles IV, two 12th century gold pendants, two 13th century gold pendants, a medieval gold clasp containing precious stones, and a sapphire ring. Crater of Diamonds State Park This treasure was first discovered on the site that's now known as Crater of Diamonds State Park in the early 1900s. After failed attempts at commercial mining, the rural southwestern Arkansas treasure trove became a 900-acre tourist attraction. Public interest was peaked in the 1950s when a 15-carat stone, later named the Star of Arkansas, was discovered. Today, a 37-acre plowed field in the middle of the park acts as the treasure hunting hub. 
More than 29,000 diamonds have been found since the Crater of Diamonds became a state park. Not a bad thing to start hunting. Hit the thumbs up if you agree. San Jose Galleon the sunken ship of San Jose, a galleon of Spanish Navy, was found by the Colombian Navy in 2015. The ship had sunk in 1708 and was said to have gold, silver, and other precious jewels worth $1 billion. Sea Search Armanda, a group of investors from USA, claimed to have found the ship in 1981 and were willing to disclose its location. Colombia agreed to give them 35% of the treasure. However, the Colombian parliament announced that the SSA would be given only 5% of the total findings. This ongoing battle between SSA and Colombia was finally resolved in 2011. Jade Cove This treasure is a semi-precious gemstone. Often green in color, it can be found on the shores and in the waters of Jade Cove, a scenic seaside area in Big Sur on California's central coast. Scuba divers tend to find the largest stones offshore, but casual treasure seekers sometimes find sizable pebbles on the beach during low tide or after a storm. Jade Cove is an idyllic place for treasure hunting. The stunning coastal scenery can be as rewarding as finding a gemstone. The cove is quite difficult to access, which helps keep the number of jade seekers down. Auburn, California Auburn was a major destination for Gold Rush-era prospectors. After gold was discovered there in 1848, thousands of miners came to the area. More than a century later, gold seekers have now increased in Auburn, inspired by rising gold prices and TV shows follow the exploits of modern-day gold miners. Many of Auburn's new prospectors have been panning for gold along the American River in the Auburn State Recreation Area. In the past, people have actually been arrested for trespassing and taking gold from property owned by private mining companies. Bahia Emerald The 341-kilogram Bahia Emerald is one of the largest pieces of rough emerald in the world. It was unearthed from a mine in Bahia, Brazil in 2001. The emerald is a chunk of rock composed of around nine crystals. An amazing fact is that one of the nine crystals of the Bahia Emerald is said to be among the largest single emerald crystals ever discovered. The value of the Bahia Emerald is estimated at an incredible $372 to $400 million. The richest Bahia Emerald remains in a secret location somewhere in LA. St. Albans Hoard in September 2012, Wesley Carrington went into a shop in the English town of Berkhamsted and bought a beginner's metal detector. He then went out to hunt for coins on a farm field. What Carrington found is one of the largest hoards of Roman gold coins ever discovered in Great Britain. It included 159 Roman solidi, which are more valuable than a typical silver and bronze Roman coins. The coins are now displayed at the Verlamium Museum. The Kerdale Hoard On May 15, 1840, a group of workers was repairing the embankment of the River Ribble in Kerdale, near Preston, England. They dug up a lead box and discovered one of the largest Viking hoards ever found. The hoard was comprised of over 8,600 items, including silver coins, jewelry, and silver ignuts. While most of the items were created in Eastern England's Viking settlements, some of them came from Scandinavia, Italy, and Byzantium. The Knights Templar Treasure Founded in 1119, the Knights Templar was one of the first and most famous religious military orders in Europe. Its original purpose was to support the new kingdom of Jerusalem against Muslim neighbors and to protect Christian pilgrims visiting the holy places. Seeing a threat in the face of the Templars, Philip IV won the backing of the Pope to deal with them. In 1307, he arrested the most influential knights and smashed their treasury. However, it turned out to be empty. This hidden treasure remains a mystery that has fascinated the world for seven centuries. Maybe you could start with this one. Nuestra Senora de las Mercedes 
Nuestra Senora de las Mercedes, a Spanish Navy warship, was transporting gold and silver coins when it went down during the Battle of Cape Santa Maria. In 2007, Odyssey Marine Exploration Incorporated found the shipwreck. They ship the findings of almost 50,000 gold and silver coins to the U.S., calling this a cultural treasure. The Spanish Naval Museum held an exhibition with the help of the National Archaeological Museum of Spain displaying the valuable treasure which was once considered lost forever. The Le Catalan II Hoard Sometime in the early 1980s, metal detection enthusiasts Reg Mead and Richard Miles met a woman who told them a strange story. She said that her father, a farmer on the British island of Jersey in the English Channel, had discovered silver coins while plowing his field. Med and Miles approached the farmer who gave them permission to search, but only for 10 to 15 hours right after the crop in the field was harvested. Thirty years later, Med and Miles were still searching. In June 2012, they spotted coins. After calling in some professional archaeologists, the coins slowly made their way out of the ground, all 68,000 of them. The Ship of Gold SS Central America was carrying 13,600 kilos of gold when it sunk in 1857. Although the shipwreck site was found in 1988, only 5% of it could be excavated. In 2014, Odyssey Marine Exploration Incorporated, an American company which engages in the salvage of deep water shipwrecks, started excavating the site. They recovered more than 15,500 gold and silver coins and 45 gold bars from the shipwreck. The value of the entire hoard is 100 to 150 million dollars. Maybe treasure hunting is your hidden skill. What do you think? Panagoresti Treasure on December 8, 1949, brothers Pavel Petko and Michael Dikov were searching for clay at a tile factory near Panagishirit, Bulgaria. But before you do, we need a favor, please give us a like! Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any interesting videos. Done! Then let's go! One of the brothers found what looked like a whistle and a few other objects. The brothers then took the items to the mayor's office. The whistle was actually a solid gold ceremonial drinking horn dating back to the 4th century BC. There were also gold decanters, gold dishes, and gold vases. In all, 13 pounds of 24 karat gold was unearthed. The Belatung Shipwreck this is known by various names, including the Tang Shipwreck or the Batu Hittim Shipwreck, but the one thing that everyone agrees upon is that it was one of the most valuable shipwrecks ever found. According to UNESCO, the wreck was found by local fishermen off the Bela Tung Island in Indonesia in 1998. The ship was believed to be Arabian. It was carrying thousands of ceramics, most of which were Chung She ware. This discovery produced the largest amount of Tang Dynasty artifacts ever discovered in one location. The Hoxney Hoard In 1992, a farmer called Peter Watling lost a hammer on his farm in England. On asking his friend, a metal detectorist, to help him find the lost hammer, they discovered 14,865 gold, silver, and bronze coins of the late Roman Empire without using any treasure map. The entire hoard is currently worth $4.3 million. All the findings, along with Watling's missing hammer, were donated to the British Museum. Indeed, this amazing treasure was found in private mines. There are more out there. Check out the next videos for proof. Which treasure captivated you the most? Are you going to start digging around for treasure? Let us know in the comment section below. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comment section. To keep up to date with all the amazing videos we have, be sure to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss a thing. Until next time, take care of yourself.